Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. For today I'm doing this marble nailed look and a few things went wrong along the way but we'll deal with them when we get to it. So I've got Kat in today and I'm going to do a painted design on her nails. First nail is uh, going to be red and this color is from Madame Glam mm -hmm. and it's called LA Style. Each nail is going to get two coats of color. I'm using Jelly Fit uh, C26 mm -hmm. on this nail. It's a sheer black. Uh, I'm not so sure if I did two coats on this one. Perhaps I didn't. But yeah, it's going to get a coat of colour and uh, the next one is going to be nude. So I'm leaving that one as is and I've jumped over to my pointer, her pointer finger. And I should have realised that the pointer finger, I wanted a mm -hmm. semicircle arch left clear on that one because I also wanted to do a marble nail design on there. But I'll fix that up later. Already things are starting to go wrong. <laughs> so the thumbnail is getting a coat of black and I've cured that for one minute in my LED light and now I'm going back and I'm adding second coats where I want them so it's obviously just the pinky and the thumbnail which are going to get two coats of color and because I need a matte surface to do all my paint work on I need to paint on a layer of matte top coat from Madame Glam even over the middle finger I'll eventually realize that this nail I'm working on needed to be half the nail covered but you know I'll get to that later so with the marble nail, I'm actually just diluting some gel polish with some acetone and painting it on in a wavy line across the, the nail as I want it. Then I clean off my brush and dip it into some acetone and then pat at the line trying to make it look dispersed and then I cure it in the light uh, when I'm happy with how it looks. Then I'm moving on to the second colour and I've added some more diluted colour and then wipe the brush off and using some more acetone to dilute it and reshape it a bit further. Um, when I'm happy with it, I'm going to cure that again. I only do flash curing in between, so about 10 seconds and then I work on it again. So now I'm just using a solid black colour, I haven't diluted it and I'm trying to draw the finest tiny wavy black line in the places where I feel it needs it to make it look like marble and I cure that again for a full cure and now I'm putting another matte top coat over it and that's going to get another minute in the lamp and now the penny finally dropped that I needed this section of the nail nude so I can do my marble design so I'm just buffing it away and repeating the same process I've put black down solid this time even though last time I diluted it and I'm just dilute, diluting it on the nail you can do either or, it doesn't really matter as long as the end result is the same. I've cured that, now I'm moving on to doing the red and um, it looks like I'm putting it on diluted and then diluting it further after I've placed it on. And now I'm going in with the solid black and trying to get some wavy lines, really skinny wavy lines in amongst the pattern to make it look like a um, a three-dimensional marble nail. So moving on to the ring finger, I'm going to be painting geometric shapes on these. So I've started off with the red, the uh, LA style by Madame Glam, and I'm painting like a triangle in the center of the nail. Uh, before I cure it, I'm moving on to the pointer finger and painting like a dark sem uh, semicircle around the marble part of the nail. But then I'm going to continue that up and around the cuticle inside walls to section off the black part of the nail. When that's done, I'm going to flash cure those two colors and then move on to doing some black on the ring finger as well. I'm just, uh, actually with this design, I'm just winging it. I didn't really have anything in mind. I'm just drawing lines and trying to make it look good. So just whacking on some lines and um, trying to convince Kat that I am a professional of 21 years and I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, in the end it ends up looking okay. We had a bit of problem with the matte top coat which you will see a bit later on. So uh, I'm doing the marble now. I wanted to add a little bit of gold accent to it so I got out my uh, gold colour by Madame Glam and just painted some fine lines in amongst all that marbleness. And I think I'll do the same to the point of finger after this one. So I'm putting that troublesome matte top coat onto the ring finger, the middle finger and the pointer finger, curing that, but after it's cured I decided to wipe it with uh, some acetone and it made it look white and blotchy. I don't know if you can see it up there in the top left hand corner of the cuticle on the middle nail, but it seemed to have ruined the surface of the matteness. I'm trying to cover it up with some crystals here and trying to make this look 
trying to save this look actually because of that white cloudiness that appeared. I did go back with some more of the same colours which I used to try and patch it up but there were some sections which I just couldn't get, uh, cover properly and it's a bit evident but you'll have a look at the end photos what, it, what I'm talking about. Um, it didn't look too bad overall but I wasn't 100% happy with it and there wasn't much I could do apart from take it off and start all over again and I think I would have died if I had to do that. So I'm just showing you on the thumb what I'm talking about when I'm referring to the white cloudiness. I had the matte top coat, cured it, took the nail out, wiped it with some acetone and then it became cloudy. Here on this nail you can actually start it seeing appearing there next to the crystals and it was just too hard to patch it up but you know we'll say it's a part of the design <laughs> uh, anyway I'm finishing up with these nails adding some caviar beads I have a love-hate relationship with those little things a big thank you goes to Kat for being so patient with me while I work on her hands and I really appreciate you Kat I hope you know that and because Kat's also a nail tech we actually brainstorm together when things go wrong so we're a great team Kat thanks for thanks for being my model and just finishing off with the caviar beads and here is the end result my lovelies be sure to let me know in the comment section what you thought of this set if you like this video be sure to hit that like button as well and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to my channel not everything goes wrong every time I do nails I promise <laughs> but for now YouTube reckons you're going to want to watch this video next well I reckon you might enjoy this one which one are you gonna choose I'll see you next time my lovelies thanks for watching bye